how exactly did we reach from there to here? How did we transform ourselves from insignificant apes minding their own business in a corner of Africa into the rulers of planet Earth? Usually, when we ask this question, we tend to look for the answer on the individual level. We want to believe, I want to believe, that there is something special about me. There is something special about my body. There is something special about my brain that makes me such a superior creature in comparison with a chimpanzee or with a dog or with a pig. But the truth is that on the individual level, we are embarrassingly similar to chimpanzees and to other animals. And if you place me and a chimpanzee together on some lonely island and we have to struggle for survival, who survives better? I would definitely place my bets on the chimpanzee, not on myself. The chimpanzee will do better. Because the big advantage of humans over other animals is not on the individual level. It's on the collective level. We control this planet because we are the only animals that can cooperate flexibly in very large numbers. Now, there are, of course, other animals that can cooperate in large numbers. The social insects, the ants, the bees, the termites, they are the obvious example. Ants can cooperate in their hundreds of thousands sometimes, but they lack flexibility. Cooperation among ants and bees is very rigid. There is basically just one way in which a beehive can coordinate its activities, its economic and social and political system. And if there is a new opportunity or a new danger, the bees cannot reinvent their social system overnight. The bees, for example, cannot have a communist revolution, execute the queen bee, and establish a communist dictatorship of worker bees. Now, there are other animals which are much more flexible in the way that they cooperate. These are the social mammals. The wolves, the dolphins, the elephants, the chimpanzees, they cooperate in a far more flexible way than bees or ants. But the problem with them is that they can cooperate only in very small numbers. 50 chimpanzees can cooperate but 50,000 chimpanzees cannot cooperate. And the reason is that among chimpanzees, cooperation is based on intimate knowledge, one of the other. If I'm a chimpanzee and you're a chimpanzee and I want to cooperate with you, I need to know you personally. What kind of chimpanzee are you? Are you a nice chimpanzee? Are you an evil chimpanzee? Can I trust you? If I don't know you personally, I can't cooperate with you. But humans, homo sapiens, what makes us really unique, that we have found a way to organize very flexible, but very large scale cooperation between not thousands, but millions, today even billions of people cooperate together. And this is our big advantage. One versus one, a chimpanzee is better than me. But a thousand versus a thousand, humans will easily win because a thousand chimpanzees cannot cooperate at all. And all the big achievements of humankind, whether it's building the pyramids or flying to the moon or splitting the atom, all these achievements are not the work of some unique individual genius they are the result of cooperation between millions of people. This is our secret of success as a species. Timiwa Uimi. Oh, TBA.